I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team, and this is your tropical update for Monday evening, September 11th. And we now have not one, but two hurricanes swirling in the Atlantic Basin. The first, of course, Hurricane Lee. We've been monitoring this one. Still a major hurricane, very large hurricane with 115 mile per hour winds. It is moving off to the west northwest at 7. It's been a fairly slow moving system as it starts to begin this turn off to the north. So the forecast calls for this to remain a category three hurricane all the way through Thursday as it bypasses Bermuda to the west and then it moves north. The amount of uncertainty starts to increase in regards, in regards to US impacts, but you can see on the fringes of this error cone here at parts of Massachusetts, uh, Rhode Island, all the way through New England, we cannot rule out a landfall from Lee at this point. Still a lot to iron out in terms of the exact location, but what we are very confident is that this is going to be a very large storm. So its impacts indirectly will be felt all the way up and down the eastern seaboard in the form of intense wave activity. So as this system starts to move off to the north, as Lee starts to make its track north, look at the forecast wave heights from Jacksonville all the way up to New England, anywhere from five to 10 foot swells. And some areas will certainly see even higher swells depending on the exact track of Lee as it starts to work between the US Eastern Seaboard and Bermuda, and it will continue off to the north as well. This particular model is for thinking more of an Eastern solution. But again, if this is much closer to the US, then we could be talking about more significant impacts in terms of coastal flooding and storm surge and uh, wind impacts as well. So still lot of details to iron out regarding Lee's eventual path and we'll certainly be able to uh, t will carry will update you throughout the week. We also have Margo now a category one hurricane. This is in the central Atlantic and is moving north at 12 miles per hour. This is forecast to intensify somewhat could actually become a category two storm by Wednesday. But then you notice it just kind of slows down and parks itself likely encountering some wind shear and some colder waters west of the Azores. So we think that this long term will not be an issue for the US in any way, shape or form. But we could have another named storm in the Atlantic Basin with a new tropical wave that is uh, sitting uh, south of the Cabo Verde, Verde Islands. And as it moves into that red shaded area, most of our forecast modeling suggests that this environment will be conducive for development. And so that too could become the next named storm of the season. So speaking of the names, well, the next one up would be Nigel. That would be the end storm. And that would be followed by Ophelia, Philippe, and Rena. Of course, we're keeping our eyes on the tropics all summer long, all the way into the fall. And you can track the tropics at home by visiting our hurricane map room at WKRG.com. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth. We'll keep you updated.